My name is Peter Rothschild, and I'm a diagnostic radiologist, and I've been a diagnostic radiologist for 25 years. My specialty is MRI, and I am also the president and founder of Patient Comfort Systems. The concept for Patient Comfort Systems came to me in the late 90s when I was researching for a book, a textbook that I was writing on MRI. I traveled around the country meeting technologists, radiologists, patients, giving lectures to really see what was going on in the community, and especially with MRIs. What I saw is we had totally focused for 20 years on building the biggest, strongest MRI machines that can make the most accurate diagnosis. We were focused on scanning patients very, very quickly to get a high throughput of patients through these MRIs. But what we were forgetting about was the patient. We were forgetting about the patient factor. And the patient factor is two parts, patient comfort and patient safety. And I set out to develop a company that was totally focused on those two factors, that is patient comfort and patient safety, especially when they're having these high-tech MRIs and CTs and other modalities that are so common today. Often the sickest patients in the hospital as well as the sickest patients in your community come into these imaging centers and radiology departments to be scanned. They get their MRI and CT scan along with all the other patients. That's why infection control is so important in these imaging centers. As an orthopedic surgeon in community practice, sending my patients out to MRI centers for diagnostic tests on an ongoing basis, it caused me a great deal of concern about the sterility that my patients don't encounter in these centers. I'm used to the sterility of the operating room where everything is clean between patients and exposure to bacteria is markedly limited. In the, in, the, in the diagnostic centers, this is not the case. The standard of cleanliness is simply to put a clean sheet over a pad each time a patient comes in. That means that the patients that were on that pad the day before or that day now have left biological waste that causes my patient to be exposed to. The results of that can be devastating. As in the early part of my career, infection was a great concern. Then the drug companies develop antibiotics that control these infections. Subsequently, the evolution of the bacteria has been greater than the drug industry, resulting in super infections. With the volume of implants being put into the spine and joints these days, that caused a great deal of concern to the orthopedic community. This is the type of pad that is used when one of my patients gets an MRI scan. As we can see here, this material represents the contamination and biological waste. This is the type of material that must be cleaned off between each patient. If this cannot be cleaned off, then the pad needs to have some built-in mechanism that helps fight the bacterial contamination, such as the antimicrobial that's built into the covering and into the foam of the pad. If not, then the pad must be discarded and replaced. The current practice is to place a sheet over this pad. What that does is it disguises the biological waste that is on the pad. If this happens to be moisture involved with this also, then that seeps right through the sheet and exposes my patient directly to the biological waste material. This is really unacceptable. This is a type of event that results in the super infection, results in infections that go through the hospital or through the diagnostic center and cause grave problems in orthopedic surgery. All pads should be tested using a black light to detect contamination by body fluids. Biological materials remaining on the pads will light up under black light exposure. This is an excellent way to confirm that cl your cleaning procedures are adequate and that the covering material is not frayed. A recent study from Ireland cultured MRSA from an MRI. This has led to concern that the MRI suite, which is a very difficult and often dangerous place to clean due to the strong magnetic field, could be a source for MRSA contamination. This is why cleaning the MRI suite, especially the pads that the patient's lay on, is crucial to stopping the spread of this deadly infection. Pads used in medical imaging are often frayed and torn. This is of great concern because it allows bacteria such as MRSA access to the central foam core, where it is impossible to clean. MRSA growing in this foam core can lead to direct patient contamination. And more concerning is recent 
research demonstrating the possibility of aerosolized spread of MRSA. This is why older pads need to be replaced with advanced pad systems that incorporate antimicrobials both into the foam core and the covering material, as well as having welded seams to stop any bacteria from access into the central core.